This is Glenn Berry with SQLSkills.com. In this insider video, I'm going to show you how to check to see whether or not Lock Pages in Memory is enabled on your instance. And if it's not enabled, I'm going to show you how to enable it. So, Lock Pages in Memory is a right that you grant to the SQL Server service account that allows it to basically grab all the memory it's going to need right at startup and not let the operating system page it out later. And there's some controversy about this setting. Some people still say you shouldn't enable it, but I generally uh, recommend that people do enable it. So if you do want to do this, the way you check to see if it's actually going is by running some of the queries I'm going to show you. So the first thing I want to know is what version of Windows am I running on my instance? And if I run this query right here, it tells me Windows 6.1. And I've got a handy little reference down here that tells me that Windows 6.1 is either Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 R2. And the reason I want to know what version of Windows I'm running is that if it's an older version of Windows, it's more important, in my opinion, to enable lock pages in memory. And newer versions of Windows have better memory management in conjunction with newer versions of SQL Server. And I'm running SQL Server 2012 on this instance. So the next thing I want to do is find out is lock pages in memory already enabled or not? So if I run this query against DMOS process memory, it shows me that lock pages is not enabled when you see a zero right here. So what I also want to do before I enable lock pages in memory on this instance is check to see what my max server memory value is set for this instance. If you're going to enable lock pages in memory, it's really important that you set max server memory to an appropriate non-default value. This is the default value, which is basically means SQL Server can use as much memory as it wants to for the buffer pool. And you want to limit this to a lower value when you use lock pages in memory because you don't want to ever have any possibility that the operating system is starved for memory. So we've determined that lock pages in memory is not enabled on this instance. And one thing I'm going to need to know is to enable lock pages in memory is what is my SQL Server service account that I'm using? So I can query sysdm server services to find that out without having to look into configuration manager. So this tells me right here that it's a local account and it's an account called SQL service account. So I cheated and put it right here in advance. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then the way you actually have to enable lock pages in memory is you go to group policy editor. And so you type in gpedit.msc and it opens up local group policy editor. And then you've got to navigate through this hierarchy and you start at local computer policy and you go to Windows settings right here and then security settings and then user rights assignment. And then you find lock pages in memory in this list. All these rights are alphabetical. And once you've found the one that you want to do something with, you double click on it and then you click on add user or group and then you put in the account for the SQL Server service account, which is this account in this case. And then you can hit check names to make sure that it's right. And then you click OK and then you click apply here and OK. And when you do this, you might think, OK, I've done it. It's enabled, but it doesn't actually go into effect until you restart the SQL Server service. And so the way you can do that from Management Studio is come up here to the Instance and Object Explorer and right click and pick Restart. And then once you do that, you're going to get a little confirmation dialog here. Are you sure you want to do this? And you know, obviously don't do this on a production server in the middle of the day. So you do this and you'll get another confirmation saying it's going to restart the agent. So once we do that, it restarts. And then, once the service is restarted, we can go in and check to see if anything changed, which hopefully it did. All right, so finally it's started again. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and see if lock pages in memory is actually enabled now by running this query again. And it errors out since I restarted the service, but once I run it again, you see that we've got memory allocated for lock pages and memory right there. And what I really want to do to make sure that I don't ever run low on memory for my operating system is set max server memory to an appropriate value for my instance. And my instance has 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's only running the database engine. 
So a good place I might want to start is 26 gigabytes to set max server memory. So 26 times 1024 is 26624 right here. So if I run these two commands, that's going to change max server memory from the default value that it was before to this value, which is 26 gigabytes, and that leaves plenty for the operating system. And then I'm just going to double check one more time and see that lock pages in memory is enabled. So you can see that it's enabled here. And then SQL Server is only using 645 megabytes right now since I just restarted it. So that's how this works. And again, I think you should enable lock pages in memory. But when you, if you do, it's very, very important that you set max server memory to an appropriate value. So until next time, this has been a SQL Skills Insiders video. Thanks for listening.